Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and we talk about WordPress tutorials that'll help every user. So today we're going to talk about spam in contact forms. So I get a lot of questions on how do I reduce spam coming through my form. So a lot of people have at least a contact form, if not a services quote form, or other forms where you need to collect information. And how do you keep bots out of there from submitting backlinks or junk or spam or malware or other junk? And we're going to do that via reCAPTCHA. So we're going to show you two ways to do that with WP Forms. So here we are on our website, pressavenue.com, where we have a list of all of our tutorials if you want to see past ones. Uh, additionally, we have a group, uh, facebook.com slash group slash pressavenue, where people can come in and ask questions to clarify, hey, what's going on with this, that, and the other, and ask for additional tutorial requests. All right, so let's get to it. So I have a website right here. Make this bigger so you can see it. Um, this is just a staging site where I use uh, different WordPress plugins so I can show you guys how to use them or not. All I've done is I've gone to plugins and then add new and I typed WP forms and I'm using the light version. So this is the free version of WP forms. So it's WP Forms Lite. And I have the Pro one on here as well, which I'll show you a little bit at the end. All right, so now we're gonna head over to WP Forms. And I have a few forms in here where I've created other um, tutorials. But we're just gonna create a new one so we can go through the whole process. So we're just gonna call this a contact form. And then they also have templates here. So you can do a simple contact form template, which we're gonna do. So we can make this quick. So we'll give it a minute to load. And their simple contact form has first and last name, email, and then a comment or a message. So on the standard fields, this is what I get in the light version. So this is the free version. The fancy fields are grayed out. If I click in here, it says I need to upgrade. If you do upgrade through the light plugin though, you save 50%, which is kind of nice. Um, but if you see right here, it says reCAPTCHA, and that's what we're going to add in this tutorial. And then you see the G, which is the Google logo. So if I click this, it'll say, hey, you got to set this up. And that's what we're talking about today. So we'll head over to the settings. So it pops open a new window, so it leaves the um, editing window open in the previous tab. So here we are here in the reCAPTCHA. To get here, you would just go to settings and you can skip that first step. But I just kind of wanted to show users that if you forget to set it up, it does remind you. So under WP Form settings, it'll bring you to general and you click reCAPTCHA. Here we are here. It's basically a free anti-spam service from Google. You've seen it tons of times. It's usually a white check or a white box that says check this box to prove that you're not a robot or a bot or spam. So a lot of us have done that throughout the web. The, uh, the Google reCAPTCHA, that's the service that you're clicking. So they offer three flavors of the Google one. They recommend the invisible one. So the first one is that checkbox, and I'll put a little picture over here on the right. The second one's invisible, you can't see it. So what it does is it detects and makes a decision if the um, thing is a person or a bot or whatever on your form and it blocks them or doesn't. And then version three does a behind the scenes scoring system. It's great if you're using Google AMP. If you don't know what that is, you probably don't need this. Um, so actually I've been doing the um, invisible reCAPTCHA version two. Next, it asks me for a site key and a secret key and then what the failed message is and then a non-conflict mode. From here, I wish I, they had a link in here that would take me straight to it, but you actually need to go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. So R-E-C-A-P-T-C-H-A. So this one's a little bit longer, but you can just go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. It'll bring you here. You'll be greeted by Timon, who does not look very happy, um, and you'll have the option to log in and go to the admin console, and I'm already logged in. If you look briefly here in the bottom right-hand corner, 
you can see that logo. That's version 3. So what it does is it chases your site down here, and that's version 3. If you don't want that hovering around on your site, maybe you do want 2 Invisible, which is the one I recommend. So now I'll go to Admin Console. It's asked me if I want to translate. I definitely don't. It's in English. Um, and then up here it says I have nine sites connected to this. To add a new one, I would go to Plus. And then it says Register a new site. So if I go back to my site, this domain name is learn.pressavenue.com. There's nothing really there for you guys. Pressavenue.com is the space where everything is. All right, so there's my label. I just label it the domain name. You can label it anything you want. Um, the reCAPTCHA type, I'm going to do version 2. And it can say, I'm not a robot. You can have the invisible badge. Or you can do something on an Android app. I'll just leave it at this one. Domains, I think it doesn't need this bit. Just put in the domain name there. And then you can add additional ones if needed, and I don't. Uh, owner, email address is there. And then I accept the terms. You can go read them all here. And then it can send alerts to the owners. Basically, if something's wrong or I have an increase in spammy traffic, it'll let me know. So I'll go to Submit. Now it loads my keys. So I'll copy the first one. Go back to the settings here. Paste. Go back to the second one, the secret key, copy, and obviously these are blurred out, so the whole world doesn't use my stuff. I'll go to paste, and then I'll go to save. So now it says the settings were saved. Perfect. So now I'll go back to my form. So I can go back to this tab here, because remember it opened that new tab, and I can click this. So it pops up this thing that says Google Invisible version 2 reCAPTCHA has been enabled for this form. Don't forget to save your form. Okay. So what's nice is it didn't add anything here. So if I hit save, it saves it. If I go over to settings, you don't see anything additional in here, um, which I think is kind of nice. Now if I go to the front end, so close out of here, I'll go to pages, I'll add a new one, and we'll just call it a test. Give it a minute to load here. Um, if this has been helpful so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more WordPress tutorials, um, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So test contact. I'll go to plus. I'll search for WP Forms. Select a form. My contact form. Publish. Publish. View. Here it is here. And that's it. So there's not much to it. John, I'll say go, I'll say hi, sure, submit. So there it is. So that's kind of nice because there is really no difference. It is really truly invisible and in the background. Now a lot of people don't want the Google thing on their site. So there is another thing you can do and it's adding a custom reCAPTCHA. So you're not using Google at all, you're just using your own. And this is done either by a math question or a very obvious question. So you can say, what's the color of orange? And then they can write orange in the, in the bar below. Or you can say, what's three plus four? Now this custom reCAPTCHA can only be done with WP Forms Pro, and it comes with an add-on called custom reCAPTCHA. So to do that, we would go back to our plugins, Come down here, we're going to deactivate the light one and activate the pro one. Give it a minute here. It says, welcome to the pro one. I'll go to add-ons. So add-ons are in orange. And then I'll come down here. And this kind of fourth one here is that custom CAPTCHA option. So it allows you to define custom questions, random math, etc., to reduce spam. And then you're not relying on that other service. But I do like the other service, but some don't. So we'll show you both options. So now it says it's activated. All right, so now if I go to all forms, go back to my contact form, it's loaded. You'll see down here, there's the Google one. 
Here is the question one. So I click on this and it adds it to the bottom. I can go to click to edit and it says, what do you want to call it? And it's, you could say, are you spam? If not, answer below. So it's saying, what type do you want? If I do math, this one's different every time. So I'll show you, I'll hit save. Saved, I'll go back to my page. Uh, what do we call it? Test view. And you see here, the other one was seven plus something, I can go look. If I refresh this, see it changes it 15 plus 14. Refresh it, seven times nine, so we're getting complicated here. Um, eight times four. So you can just see it changes every time. Now one note about the custom reCAPTCHA is it does put users off. So maybe they don't know math, maybe they have a disability and they can't quite see this. Um, you may get fewer submissions from actual people and definitely from spam because either they couldn't figure this out or they typed it in wrong. So if I type this in wrong, um, oh it actually says incorrect answer which is great, but people might get frustrated trying to work out math just so they can contact you. So it is something to keep in mind with these CAPTCHAs. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If it was helpful, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Additionally, on YouTube, we have a whole ton of recent um, WordPress tutorials from sending emails to Beaver Builder to Elementor and more. Lastly, check us out on that Facebook page. We've been having great conversations on here. There's just over 500 people at this point and people have been asking really good stuff. And I love the feedback from you and the additional stuff that I've learned as well. There was a guy that posted about a Beaver Builder shortcode that I'd never seen, even though I've dug through the documentation. Anyway, that's it. Again, thumbs up if you like it and thanks again for watching.